Hi, uh, my name's David. I'm the Wandering Ponderer. Welcome to another video. Today, you find me opposite that building and I'm in the Memorial Garden of Brian Tebbett. This little corner here where I am has quite a bit of history to it which I will go into in a, another video. Suffice to say that I'm sitting in here because of a culvert that used to come down here which I've done a video on. But to introduce the subject of open culverts, now not many people know that there used to be an open culvert in Church Street. And it used to carry the water from St Peter's Well, which is up near the church, all the way down Church Street. It was open, and that used to come down there when the well was obviously overfilling. And used to come down there with quite a force. In 1830, I think give you the precise date, around 1830, a brick built, a conduit was built under the ground and that water was diverted through the conduit. Now the conduit does go down the road and it's still there, under the ground. In uh, 1876, they did a survey and measured the water flow going through that conduit. And it measured at some 27,000 gallons a day running through there from St Peter's Well. And it's still there today. And it is said on a quiet night, you can actually hear the water running under the ground. That's something not many people know. Or as Michael Caine would say, not many people know that. But while we're in Church Street, there's something else in Church Street. You know that saying, a bull in a china shop? That saying came about, so they say, from real life incidents. And one such incident, it's believed that, that, it, that the uh, saying came from the 1700s, I'm reading this, 1700s, from the London markets where they had cattle and the cattle used to escape and wander around into nearby china shops wreaking havoc. As proof of the pudding, in Church Street there was one such incident and it was a Mr Stebbing who was leading a cow up Church Street and it decided that it was going to go for a wander. And it ran into a Mr. Gower's china shop. Where Furman's is now, that used to be Gower's china shop. And Gower, you, Mrs. Gower, it says she was in the china shop and she used to sell the china and other stuff in there. The cow, when it escaped, ran up four steps. Those steps are still visible outside, although one of them is sort of more sunken into the pavement. The height, height of the pavement has uh, buried some of the first step. The cow ran up the four steps, it said, and entered walking into the shop and made its way through the shop up to the counter and it caused consternation. 
a bit of panic, a cow in a china shop, a door leading to a private house was opened and the cow made its way through that door and through the private house into the outside. That action apparently caused about two pounds worth of damage which is not much in this day and age, but was quite a lot <laughs> back in the 1800s. That is an interesting little story. Short video today. I thought I'd break away from sort of the, the um, disaster video. We've got enough disasters going on in the world at the moment. I'll have a little break from it. Next week's video, I am going out to London and I'm going to work with the Glaston, with Gabriel channel. I'm going to meet Gabriel from Glastonbury for the first time and we're going to go and do a video together and I'm not going to make any spoilers because I haven't, we haven't done it yet and uh, I've yet to go through that nice journey. I, sh I should be travelling up by train. But I will be making a video for, next, for the next week around that and I don't know how many videos are going to come out of this little trip but it's just something to look forward to. So stay tuned. Anyway, thank you for sticking with me. And as always, I shall stick it up here. If you don't mind giving it a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so because that helps not monetarily, but it helps get the videos out for, to people. I will see you in another video. Thank you again. Stay safe.